Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating something that I like to call feedback conditioning. This is essentially conditioning and affecting the feedback signal before it gets fed back into the filter to create more interesting kinds of sounds. There's already feedback conditioning built into the synth in terms of this high pass here. Uh, that is, I guess, yeah, feedback conditioning. Uh, it's a name that I invented. I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty neat. So we're gonna start with a blank preset here, or blank routing, and I'm gonna have the oscillator going into the filter. And then I'm going to have that going into the output. The filter I'm going to select is Blue Monarch, which takes to the feedback well. I'm going to get the feedback node here and this feedback in here. So think of this as like a reroute node. Uh, that's what I call it just because no, that's what I call it. Feedback, uh, the, well, the filter output is into the feedback node here and then sent into this one where it's reprocessed. And this, for you know, brief history lesson, this is from the days of the Moog Model D, where you'd have the synth output going into the external input, which was then reprocessed in the filter, and you would get some really neat smudgy effects. And it was made so popular that they just built it into the synths from that day forward, which is pretty neat. Anyway, so this is a basic example of feedback, filter feedback. And I don't want to hurt any ears, so let's just do that. Okay, let's go down an octave, maybe. And let's get the filter going down. And we'll boost the feedback. Right, so we get like that smudginess. There we go, better example. Right, so the, the filter is processing sound that it can't handle. Uh, well, it can, but it's it's emulating the, you know, how actual filters like that behave. It's really cool. So let's do some conditioning, shall we? We're going to use some insert effects, right? And these are going to be fed into the filter here. If I can, there we go. And, oh. Right, so similar, similar thing, right? But we have these effects, and the the feedback is going to be processed before it re-enters the oscillator. And yeah, let's just uh, let's just peg that into there. All right. So now it is it is working. Oh, yeah, so, sorry, brain fart. Feedback has to be all the way up now, right? Or else it won't go through the feedback that I just, my brain farted. Anyway, so let's do some things. So there's already, there's already uh, conditioning within the feedback uh, knob here, which is a high pass, which prevents, you know, the, the lower end getting in there and smudging some stuff up uh, in an unpleasing way. You get more of an effect when you do it this way. We can actually do the uh, the opposite. Drop in a utility, and we can have a low pass too. And we can even give it more volume. Right, so we can use that and then feed that into the signal. Right, so we're getting more, I guess, I don't know. Don't want to hurt anyone's ears. Right, so we get a completely different effect. Right, and that's very useful. We can in turn, do some other things. Uh, one thing we can do is we can add a sub-oscillator. So not a whole lot of synths allow you to mix in a sub-oscillator into the feedback circuit. And this is something that I really appreciate. Um, it, it does some interesting things. 
Um, and it's just, a, it's just, it makes your brain kind of think and work in different ways. I'm going to use a pulse. Right, you can get a really interesting effect with that. And uh, something else that I like and that I found uh, great pleasure in doing is getting the ring mod doing some interesting things. So the feedback signal could be, you know, affected and then you can add a ring mod and then that's fed into the feedback circuit. Really cool. Uh, also, you know, nothing stopping you from adding a distortion uh, insert here. And I imagine this is what they did. Well, they did do this back in the day. They wouldn't just take a cable and then, you know, you know, swing it around into the external end. They might affect it in some way, maybe like a guitar pedal or something. And this gives you a completely new effect. Right. Smudges it in new ways. We'll key track it. fingers are cold but uh yeah that's just a, like a way to get more of an interesting effect within your routing and yeah ring mod will do some weird stuff and the ring mod is really cool because it is uh pitch tracked <laughs> Right, you can do some neat things with that. I hope that was educational. I hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.